Local. Uh, what I'm going to do is you're going to solve for the value of x. So here I have 4x minus 5 equals 2 times parentheses 2x plus 1. So just remember when dealing with a multi-step equation like this, or even just when solving any kind of equation, remember we've got to get our variable by itself, right? So the main important goal is to get the variables on the same side. But before we can do that, we want to see if we can simplify either side first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, can I simplify the left side? And since we have 4x minus 5, there's nothing I can do to simplify it, since they're not like terms. I look at the right side. I look inside the parentheses, right? Because I now, since I need to follow PEMDAS. I look inside the parentheses. I can't combine them because they're not like terms. There's no exponents. Then I look, is there any multiplication and division I could do? Well, yes. This 2 times parentheses means distributed property, meaning I can multiply. So I have 4x minus 5 equals 2 times 2x, which is 4x, plus 2. So now what I need to do is I need to get my variables on the same side. And remember, to get your variables on the same side, we just need to understand um, equivalent equations. As long as you do the same operation to both sides of your equal sign, you're going to keep equivalent equations. So let's say I want to get rid of the 4x on the right-hand side to leave only my variables on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to subtract the 4x on both sides. Well, there's something really important that happens here. We notice that 4x minus 4x is 0x minus 5, which equals 0x plus 2. Well, 0 times x is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5 equals 2. And then we look at that and we say, does negative 5 equal 2? No, they're not the same value, right? If you don't believe me, think about money. Is the value of negative 5 equal to the value of 2? No. So therefore, we say cancel out, say they're not equal to each other, and we say no solution. All right. Another way to, uh, you know, if you just look at that, just look at it out loud. 4 times a number, right, minus 5 is equal to 4 times that same number plus 2. Well, of course, if you're minusing 5 and then you're adding 2 and you're multiplying both of them by 4, it's, it's not going to be the same number, of course, right? So therefore, there's no solution. There's no possible number that you can apply for x that's going to make this equation true. There you go.